Hey, San Ramon kiddos. This is kind of fun. I saw this woman's art online and I thought, oh, that's kind of a cool idea. And then I thought, I bet the kids could do it. So what I did was I took a picture. This is just a picture from the internet and I just printed it up. If you don't have a printer at home, it doesn't, you don't need a printer. You could take um, like a picture from a magazine, a picture you don't care about because you will be putting holes in it. Then underneath that picture, you're going to put a piece of paper. I started using cardstock when I did this and it felt too thick. It was kind of hard. Um, and then under that, I have cardboard. Now I'm even going to put another layer of something underneath my cardboard because I'm doing this video on my dining room table and I don't want to hurt my dining room table. So if you're doing it on a surface that your parents or you care about, um, i.e. your table or... Um, you know, something like a desk or something that you don't want holes in, definitely put it under, put something under it. Like maybe put two pieces of cardboard. And all you're doing, if you can see that what I've done here, I'll move it up a little bit. I put a bunch of little tiny holes along the lines of this flower. And I'm gonna do some more. It's not, it's not easy, I'm not gonna lie. My hands started to hurt. So this is one of those activities you might wanna do over a couple, you know, few sittings kind of thing. And you just sort of put the holes where the lines are. Now, the first one I tried, I tried to do a picture of my dog. And I have to say that was kind of not so successful. And I think it's because there's so much going on in a dog. There's You've got fur and eyes and eyebrows and parts are darker than others. The idea with this is kind of to look at the shading of the thing. So in other words, like where, it's, where the flower is darker, I should do more holes. And in theory, that will make it kind of look more like the flower, I think. So what I'm starting here is I'm starting to just do the outline of the flower. And as you see, I go through the paper and it goes into the cardboard a little bit. I don't actually think it's going through the cardboard, but I still put this, this uh, little napkin under here because I was nervous it might and I really don't want to hurt my table because I like my table. Um, and your parents probably like their table too, so don't hurt their table. Um, and all I'm using here is a little thumbtack, if you didn't notice that. Um, I'm finding that's pretty easy. You could use a needle. Anything that's kind of pokey, you need to be able to poke it through here, though. Um, so you see I'm just following the lines. And, and if you wanted to make it look lighter, you could do just a little not go all the way through. That's what I'm thinking I might want to do for some of these parts, just to have it look a little bit shaded. I don't know how that'll look. I'm going to have to see what that looks like. So I'm going to go and do some little pokies here. Because this part, this is all kind of dark, so I was thinking it might look more realistic if I just sort of shade it in a little bit, but not super hard lines. Oh, and I didn't go on this one at all. I should do this. I think these are kind of cool. These are like the these are like a secondary flower that's about to bloom. This is a dahlia. I love dahlias. They're beautiful flowers, and they actually grow really well in Novato. Um, I have a bunch in my yard. They're always really happy, and they come in a bulb, like you plant the bulb in your yard in the ground, and then they pop up. And every year they pop up and keep coming. I think they're so much fun. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit more. So I'm going to show you what I've got going on so far. I'll sort of flip it over so you can see. So isn't that kind of cool? You can see, I think you can see that. You can see all the lines I've done for this flower. I think it's kind of a neat thing. And you can, it's neat on here too. And you could, you could do this for like, if you had like a double piece of, if you had a longer piece of paper and you just did this on the front, then you could fold it. And that could be like a card that you would, could send to somebody or you could cut it out and you could attach it to like a piece of construction paper and that could be a card. This was the one of my dog. It's not a great picture. It's just a black and white picture. But you'll see by the dots. I mean, I could have added more. Maybe it would have gotten better, but it just kind of looked funky. It was hard to show the dimension of his nose and stuff. That's really hard to tell. I mean, maybe if I had gone in here and done more dots, it would have been better. But I think something like a flower is going to be a little more forgiving and a little easier for this activity. But you you choose because it's your it's your art. But what I would do is either find a picture on the internet that 
you're allowed to print up or go through a magazine or maybe you have like an old picture of something that you don't care about having anymore and you want to do that something that's simple or if you don't have a picture you can do this with you could always draw something too like draw a pretty flower and then go and do this over it um some of you i know some of the uh kids in the upper grades are really great at drawing roses and stuff because they draw on them after they finished an art project in class so anyway i want you just to have fun with it i just thought it was kind of a neat little technique something different maybe you've never done before i had never done it before it's kind of fun and satisfying but don't forget your piece of cardboard and tape your picture down because this, if you don't have it taped down, it's going to move all over the place and then it's going to get off track a little bit. But again, let me show you. And you can just keep adding to it, right? But isn't that cool? It's very, it has a very um, delicate quality to it, I think. And you could try it on heavier paper like cardstock. You might like how that feels better. For me, it was a little too hard to get my thumbtack through that and I, my hand was getting really sore when I tried cardstock. But um, the paper, just regular paper, worked really well. And maybe colored paper would be cool. I don't know. I didn't try it with colored paper. So experiment. Have some fun. Um, it's a pretty low, you know, most people have, if you don't have a thumbtack, a needle would certainly work as well. So um, something that's a little bit on the pokey side, a safety pin would work. Anything like that. All right. I hope you guys have fun. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay. Bye.